Maya's Midnight Adventure Maya woke up and looked around her room. It was dark. The middle of the night, perhaps. She heard a rustling across her room. Did it come from the closet? For a moment, she lay still, listening and trembling. Was someone in her room? But then she heard giggling and her curiosity grew. She turned on the lamp on her bedside table, slid her feet into her sleepers, and plowed it across her room to the closet door. When she opened it, her eyes opened wide in wonder. Oh, wow, Mia gasped. Who are you? Her closet wasn't her closet at all. She saw bright pink trees, purple flowers, and teal butterflies all under a magenta sky and a bright warm sun. Right in the middle of this whimsical forest were three friends playing ring around the rosy, a fairy, a bunny, and a boy. The fairy looked at Mia, glitter falling from her wings, and said, Well, hello, Mia. We've been hoping you'd come play. I'm Stella. Maya curtsied and looked to the bunny next. Oh, we're so glad to finally meet you, Maya. We thought you'd never come. I'm Gus. He bowed and Maya giggled. <laughs> Hello, Gus, she said and then turned her eyes to the boy. Maya, you're here. I'm James Zachary Jones III, he said, extending a hand for her to shake. She took his hand and shook it violently laughing as she did so. <laughs> well, hello, James Zachary Jones III, she said in reply. Won't you join us? Stella exclaimed. As much an order as a question. I most certainly will, Maya replied excitedly. The four of them played rings around the rosy. They played hide and seek. Maya hid in the tallest pink tree where she met a purple squirrel named Tipsy. They played freeze tag. They made tacos out of the leaves of the forest using flower petals for the cheese and pretended to sell them to one another. They sang songs, recited their favorite fairy tales, and danced to the rhythm of the forest. And just as Maya began to miss her mom and her dad and her little brother Juniper, Gus said, Maya, it's time for you to go home. Will we see you again? Yes! Maya said, most certainly. How will I find you, though? Follow the giggles, James Zachary Jones III said. You'll find us there. Maya waved to her friends and headed back to bed, slipping out of her slippers and back under her covers. Just as she dozed off, her mom woke up for school. Oh, Mama, Maya exclaimed. I am so happy to see you.